The lion inside. Yes, this is. The lion inside. Scholastic Inc. <laughs> <laughs> In a dry, dusty place where the sand sparkled gold stood a mighty flat rock, all craggy and old. And under that rock, in a tiny full house, lived the littlest, quietest, meekiest brown mouse. He was so very tiny, so incredibly small, that nobody noticed him ever at all. He Ooh. got stopped on and sat on. He missed out on stuff, ignored and forgotten. His mouse life was tough. Aww. Meanwhile, far above, on top of the rock, times were quite different. It was lion o'clock. This huge toothy creature made sure everyone saw how important he was, and how loud he could roar. roar! He was head of the pack. He was shouty and proud. He loved flexing his bicep and wowing the crowd. Wow! Yes, all were impressed by the mighty king cat. If only, thought the mouse, I could be more like that. Then late one dark night in his tiny mouse bed, the cleverest thought popped into his head. He let up the darkness and held up a paw. I've got it, he said. What I need is a roar. I mean, what if this mouse, the weeniest squeak, were the little more gore and a little less meek? Well, he'll still be the smallest of fuzzy brown mice, but he'd make friends and join in and life would be nice. Yes, thought the mouse, I must find out how. I will learn to roar, and I will learn it now. But it wouldn't be easy. There was only one beast who could teach him the thing, but might make him feast. It was time to be strong. Take a chance after all. Forever was such a long time to feel small. So he made himself brave, and he thought like a winner, he'd set off on the top, hoping not to be dinner. It felt like the scariest thing he could do, but if you want things to change, first you have to change you. The farther he climbed, the closer he got to the, sumbling, to the slumbering lion reclining on top. Then, at last, as he stood on the on his tippy top toes, he found himself suddenly nose to nose. <laughs> and, and look, pardon me, wake up, Mr. Lion. You've got company. Um, squeak, Mr. Lion. What I've come to you, what I've come to you for is squeak. Do you think you could teach me your roar? A silence befell, then that twinkling pain, Lion opened his eyes and puffed out his mane. Time went so slowly, it felt like a week, then he opened his mouth and let out a... Eek! <laughs> 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 the lion curled up in a terrified ball. He didn't like this, not one bit at all. Don't hurt me, he whimpered. Oh, try to be nice. Well, this mighty great lion was frightened of mice. Don't worry, Mouse Pete. I'm here as a friend. Let's hang out together. Be pals to the end. That was a magical moment for sure, when the mouse didn't feel at all small anymore. He had found his true voice. He learned to speak out. And that you don't need a roar to shout. And from that day and always, the two were a pair. They both looked like 
Wait, they both looked that rock. They both liked that rock better. Now that that rock was to share, the mouse, was still little, felt big in his head. And lion, he still roared, but with laughter instead. Ha 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 ha. Yes, that day they both learned that no matter your size, we all have a mouse and a lion inside. To end. Yay! Yay! Story time with mommy. You like story time with mommy? Yay! Yay! Say thank you, mommy. Kisses. I like that story. Let me see. That's cute. Let me see it. Hold it up. Being little isn't always easy, but when Mouse sets off on a journey to find his roar, he discovers that even the smallest the smallest creatures can have a heart of a lion. I like that. Let me see it. Hold it up. The lion inside. Dun dun dun. <laughs> Did you like it, Mamas? Did you like it? Did you like the story? Give Mommy a seat to tell her thank you. Mommy, Wait. get a kisses. Mommy, get a kisses. Come on. Give Mommy two kisses. Give Mommy two kisses. He just sent up with the kisses because Daddy gonna get jealous. I'm gonna get jealous. Daddy gonna get jealous from all the kisses for mommy. Bedtime story. Oh. Say bye, mamas. Bye. Bye, Dada. Bye bye. Bye. We out.